This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. All right, we're going to simplify this polynomial. Now, when you simplify, basically what you're doing is using the order of operations. And the first thing in order of operations is to simplify with grouping symbols or parentheses. But inside parentheses, we have a 2x plus 5 in two places. Those run like terms, so those are as simplified as possible. Next, you see if there's anything with exponents. And we do see we have this 2x plus 5 squared. So remember, we don't multiply 3 times the 2x plus 5. First, we have to do exponents, which means this part right here, 2x plus 5 squared. Now, if you can't remember how to square a binomial in your head, then what you could do is um, do that on scratch paper. So let's do that. Let's say you wanted to remember how to do 2x plus 5 squared. Remember that's 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. And you could use the FOIL method. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. The outer term, 2x times 5 plus 10x. Inner term, 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times 5, the last terms, multiply together 25. So we get 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Now that's just one way you could do it. Another way is you look at the first and the last term. And when you square a binomial, it's the first term squared. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And it's 2 times the first times the second term. So you have 2 times 2x times 5. Basically, every number you see, right? 2 times 5 times 2x, that's going to be 20x. This is what I meant by in your head, plus the last term squared. And you might like multiplying by using a little box. It really doesn't matter. You just have to use some technique for multiplying 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. So this is another way that I've shown in videos how you can do it. Sorry for writing small here. And we end up with, actually, I usually write these over on this side, don't I? And we see the like terms, the 4x squared, the 10x, and the 10x is 20x, and the 25. So in any case, that's what 2x plus 5 squared is. So let's go back here to our problem. Now we know what 2x plus 5 squared is. It's 4x squared plus 10x plus 25. So that's up to you if you need to go and do that on scratch paper. Now, we're going to continue. Notice we're subtracting 4 times 2x plus 5. You could do that at the next step, and I'm going to wait just so we can see that the very first step I happened to do was squaring the binom this binomial. And next step is to do multiplication. We've done the exponents, right? So we have the distributive property. So we have 3 times 4x squared, 12x squared. 3 times 10x, that's 30x. 3 times 25 plus 75. Now we have to distribute our negative 4. So negative 4 times 2x will be a minus 8x. Negative 4 times 5 will be a negative 20. And neg and, oh, that's it. That's all we're doing to distribute it. And then we have a minus 30 here at the end, right? The, four, the negative 4 only gets distributed to what's inside the parentheses. And now we're just going to add like terms. There's only one x squared term, and that is 12x squared. Let's see. The x terms are right here, 30x and the minus 8x. That's going to be plus 22x. And then we have... 75 minus 20 minus 30, that's basically 75 minus 50, so that's plus 25, and that is our answer. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.